This is what flexing in 2020 looks like. What is up, ladies, gentlemen, and gamers? It is I, once again, Mother Moonhead. I have returned from the grave. It's been a while since I last uploaded. In fact, it's almost been a month since I last uploaded. If you don't know, basically, about two weeks ago, I woke up one morning to find that my laptop had completely died. I woke up on a bright and glorious Sunday morning, ready to praise Jesus, and so I went to my laptop to turn it on to use my daily prayer app and I found that my laptop would not switch on. And obviously, once I figured out that my laptop wouldn't switch on, I did what anyone would do in this situation, and panicked like a little bitch. It turns out that my laptop's hard drive had completely died, which is a real pain in the ass, but I'm not surprised that it happened. My laptop was a good four years old, it was covered in dust, and cigarette ash, and dents. The hard drive was really old as well, it was an old HDD hard drive. So I sent it off for repairs, and the dude put in a brand new SSD hard drive for me, which is basically a newer, better made, and much quicker hard drive. This computer looks like trash, but it runs quicker than brand new laptops. I got the laptop back like four days ago, and I've been running around like a busy bee, trying to get all my files back onto it, because I didn't, you know, back up all my files in one place like a sensible person. Oh no, I saved everything in hundreds of little places. Old memory sticks, emails, Google Drive, OneDrive, they're everywhere. It's, it's fucking awful. It's like that quest from Skyrim, where you've got to run around collecting the 30 Crimson Nern Roots. If you played that quest, you know what I mean? That's exactly what finding my files is like. And so as a result of all this, I've been gone from the internet involuntarily for about a month. And in that time, I've missed quite a lot. A lot has happened since I've been gone. And so I thought, what better way than to return to making crappy YouTube videos than by going back over everything I've missed in another installment of another pointless internet series. The worst show on the internet. Is Tyrone in shot properly? I know half of you bastards only tune in to see that stupid dinosaur. I've got to make sure he's in shot. We're all gonna die. So easily, the biggest thing that happened while I was gone is coronavirus. Or as I like to call it, real life plague ink. You know that Plague Inc. got banned in China. Like, I love that game to death, but I understand why they banned it. The tutorial makes you start in China. About a week ago, it was officially classed as a pandemic. On the same day, my university and a load of other places around the globe just began to shut down and go into quarantine. Isolation is being advised. People are being recommended to stay at home. I myself am doing this. Not that I leave this room very much anyway. And by this point in time, COVID-19 has basically managed to spread everywhere. And really quickly too. And this is because the vast majority of the human race are really fucking stupid. Toilet paper. This is the first thing I need to get off my chest. Why are people hoarding toilet paper? Did you know that I fought seven old age pensioners to the death yesterday just to get this bog roll? The BBC reported on an audacious armed robbery at dawn in Hong Kong. And in Japan, Sora News said that one shopkeeper decided the only way to protect his restroom from desperate toilet paper thieves was to draw up traditional curses to protect his stash of spare loo rolls. You do realize that COVID-19 is a respiratory disease, right? It affects your lungs. It affects your breathing. It's got nothing to do with your asshole. It cannot and will not give you the shits. So please, for the love of God, stop hoarding toilet paper. It's been about a week since all this toilet paper stuff started and there are still people madly hoarding toilet paper. This doesn't show signs of slowing down. Basically, for the next few weeks, you're either going to be wiping your ass with leaves or eating toilet paper. Even more stupid than toilet paper, there are some degenerate creatures out there that believe that Corona beer gives you coronavirus. You couldn't make this shit up. Coronavirus fears have already cost Corona beer 132 million pounds in lost revenue. Are you serious? There is no sugarcoating this. If you believe this, or if you have ever believed this, even for a split second, you are the reason this virus has managed to spread so easily. Hey Corona, if you happen to be watching this, please sponsor me. I know you're a bit strapped for cash at the moment, but I think it would be a really, really solid business decision. However, easily, the most stupid thing to come out of coronavirus is this video here that recently appeared on my Twitter feed. It's corona time. Hey, it's Corona time right now. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> Forgive me for sounding a bit blunt, but what the fuck is wrong with you? This woman should not be allowed to breed. Not at all. Not ever. I just don't understand. Like, are you that desperate for views and attention? What is wrong with you? I mean, for Christ's sake, you licked a toilet bowl. You're gonna catch a lot more than coronavirus from that. Now, usually stupid people being stupid isn't that much of a problem. Sure, it's a pain in the ass, but it's not really gonna cause anyone any harm. However, coronavirus is an actual serious thing, and people being stupid like this in a very serious time like now it's not gonna help anyone. It still baffles me that some people still aren't taking this seriously. It is a serious thing, and anyone that says it isn't is a complete fucking idiot. And in light of the fact that this has become a pretty serious situation, I'm gonna break tradition and actually be serious for once in my life. So there's your warning, no memes for a couple of minutes. Firstly, cover your mouth when you cough and wash your hands regularly. I know this sounds really obvious, but as I just explained, there's a lot of stupid people out there. Keep away from large groups of people or crowded areas because you will definitely get coronavirus and then you'll spread it into your own social circle and you really don't need that. Now this isn't to say that you can't go outside at all, you can still go for walks or go to the shops or whatever. In fact, seeing as we're all going to be self-isolating, I recommend you do those things. Just generally keep a distance from people, especially if it's large groups of people. Keep well away from elderly people and anyone with breathing problems, respiratory problems, any kind of immune system problems. Just keep the fuck away from them. Most of us will probably be able to shrug coronavirus off. We'll feel shit for a couple of days, but then we'll be fine. Elderly people, people with breathing problems, if they get it, it will kill them. Don't go near them, you might give it to them, and then they're basically dead. Keep in contact with your friends, your family, people like that. Again, I know this one sounds like a no-brainer, but some people are taking the term isolation too seriously. The internet isn't going anywhere, and all your friends are just as bored as you. Discord, Skype if you're stuck in 2013, FaceTime, uh, Facebook Messenger, Carrier Pigeon. There's so many ways to keep in contact with your friends. Plus, if you're going to be stuck indoors a lot more than usual, you're going to have to talk to some people. Otherwise, you're going to go insane. Don't mass buy and hoard loads of food. It's just totally unneeded and such a waste. Most retail shops are not closing and they're being stocked as normal. So there is absolutely no point in mass buying a load of stuff. All it's going to do is fuck someone else over. Bear in mind that some people cannot afford to buy in bulk, they only have enough to get a week's worth of food at a time, which means if you buy everything in the shop, they're screwed. Stop wasting food, think of others, it's common sense. Face masks do not protect you. I cannot stress this enough. They are only useful if you're already sick or if you're treating someone that's sick. They will not offer you any additional protection from getting the coronavirus. Hand sanitizer is good, but washing your hands with soap and water is actually better. So instead of buying a load of hand sanitizer, just wash your hands more regularly. Finally, most importantly, don't panic. Yes, I know we're living through some weird times at the moment, but it's not the end of the world. For the next few weeks or months, life is probably going to be very different, but after that, we're gonna be absolutely fine and we'll keep going as we always have. It's just gonna take a little bit of time and a little bit of common sense, but eventually we'll get through this. So don't lose your head, stay calm, don't be a dumbass, and we'll all probably be fine. Oh, I'm sorry, was that moo cake being serious for a couple of minutes? Bruh, that was fucking cringe. Get that out of here. What's up, guys? Back with another banger video. We so easily the biggest YouTube news I've missed since I've been gone is that of Jay Station, the man that looks like a Tic Tac on heroin. You probably all know who Jay Station is at this point. If you don't, search him up on YouTube. I've made a video on him. Millions of people have made videos on him. Jay Station is basically scum incarnate. He is one of the most despicable people on YouTube. Jay Station, on several occasions, has made 3 a.m. clickbait videos on people under 12 hours after they've passed away. He would mock ring them at 3 a.m. for a clickbait video literally on the same day that they died. So, you might say that he's a bit of a scumbag, but I'm not sure, guys. I'm still on the fence about this. Please leave your comments and opinions on this matter in the comments below. However, apparently capitalizing off people's deaths wasn't quite enough for Jay Station because recently he took it a step further and faked his own girlfriend's death. Well, more specifically, his ex-girlfriend. All she did was leave him. She didn't actually die. So about three weeks ago from now, videos start popping up from Jay Station of him calling his dead girlfriend at 3am or visiting memorials of her, basically capitalising off her apparent death. So it's already pretty bad. Like, we've already scraped the bottom of the YouTube cesspool barrel. But then, 
his girlfriend outs him and one-ups him by uploading a video of her own saying, I'm alive, he's made it all up for views. Basically completely cucked him online. So obviously everyone quite rightly went fucking nuts about this and YouTube themselves eventually got wind of it. And for once in their lives, they actually took action and completely demonetized J Station's channel. For all the problems I have with YouTube, I do genuinely have to give them credit here. I think this was a brilliant decision to demonetize him because it's completely shut him off. J Station's had channels terminated in the past before and he just pops straight back up with a new one. Nothing changes, he just keeps going as he always has. However, by demonetizing him, it doesn't matter if he makes a new channel, doesn't matter how many new channels he makes, he's still not going to make any money. And let's be real, that's all he gives a shit about. And sure enough, shortly after he was demonetized, Jay Station uploaded a video called Goodbye, where he announces that he's going to be taking an indefinite break from YouTube. What a fucking surprise. <coughs> Hey, he started the video by sitting down and doing a big sigh, you twat. This video is like super hard for me to make. Um, basically I want to have a heart to heart with you guys. I think a heart to heart with J Station is the last thing I'd ever want. I think I'd rather saw my balls off with a rusty spoon than have a heart to heart with J Station. A lot of stupid things for attention on YouTube and it's just... I lost so much things recently. Over the last couple weeks, I've deleted 100 million views off my channel of just like negativity. And negativity is just something I, I don't wanna do anymore on YouTube. I don't wanna have controversy on YouTube. I don't wanna beef with any creators on YouTube. Wait a minute, right? Wait a fucking minute. You say you don't want any controversy on YouTube anymore. You say you don't want to beef with any YouTubers anymore, but that's what your entire career is based on. Your entire channel and everything successful about you is based on controversy and beefing with people. What are you gonna do without them? No one's gonna watch anything else you do because you're scum and you're not entertaining. So you've basically fucked yourself. I'm just really disappointed in myself, you know? And what I would do for attention, you know? It's just really sick. And for anybody who was upset about what I did, I, I just wanna tell you, I wanna tell you straight up, I'm sorry. Yeah, all right, it sounds sincere, but what you have to consider is he's only sat down and made this video and apologized for all this shit because he's lost his revenue. If YouTube hadn't demonetized him over this fake girlfriend death stuff, he'd still be going, exactly as he always has been, still making awful, disgusting clickbait content. The only reason he's made this video is because he's had his ads pulled, and that probably makes him even fucking worse. I really sacrifice everything in order to get where I'm at, everything. And it, like, for example, I haven't talked to my dad for four years straight. This whole time I was doing YouTube, haven't talked to my dad, haven't talked to my sister. Now, don't get me wrong. I feel the tiniest droplet of sympathy for Jay Station not talking to his family in years, but nothing was stopping him from talking to them. Like it was his choice not to talk to them. He could have at any time texted them or called them. That's just a bit retarded, isn't it, Jay Station? I mean, come on, wake up. Come on, is, is there anything on upstairs? In summary, I have absolutely no sympathy for Jay Station at all. I think he's complete scum. I hope he leaves YouTube and he never comes back. And I am so grateful that YouTube pulls his ads. Maybe now that he won't get any money from this, he will finally fuck off and leave us alone. Between this and all the Onision drama that went down a couple of months ago, it's nice to finally hear about some news that's gonna be good for YouTube. Like, those two people gone from YouTube, they're very positive things. It's nice to see some positive changes to YouTube for once. I am once again asking for your financial support. Next up, the US presidential primaries are on at the moment, the race to see which Democratic candidate will battle it out against Trump for the White House in November. There are only two candidates left in the race at this point. First up, we have Joe Biden. Poor kids are just as bright and just as talented as white kids. Yeah! And his opponent, the unforgettable Bernie Sanders. Say the line. Bernie. I am once again asking. If I had to choose, I'd choose Bernie, but 
I'll take either of them over Donald Trump. I'm so sick of that man. He's so brain dead. It's not even funny anymore. Look, I'll be honest, I don't really give a shit about the presidential primaries at all. Do I sound American to you? The fuck you say to me, you little shit? Up next, I know this is pretty old news by this point, but I've been wanting to talk about this since my laptop died. Ninja's tweet about gaming. Good lord. The phrase, it's just a game, is such a weak mindset. You are okay with what happened. Losing. Imperfection of a craft. When you stop getting angry after losing, you've lost twice. There's always something to learn and always room for improvement. Never settle. Jesus Christ. Now initially I thought he'd come up with this anecdote on his own and I lost the plot. But then after a bit of digging, I realised it's actually a reference from the Yu-Gi-Oh! TV show. The phrase, it's just a game, is such a weak mindset. You are okay with what happened. Losing imperfection of a craft. So, I mean, he's still a bit of a fucking nerd. Yu-Gi-Oh! reference or not, though, you can tell that Ninja unironically 100% believes this mindset. Like the stream sniping stuff, the Ligma stuff, the infamous clip where he says, the f It is no secret that I really, really don't like Ninja. He really annoys me, and it's because he acts like an over-competitive man-child. Most people do not play video games competitively. Most people just play them at the end of the day, after school or work, to wind down, you know? It doesn't have to be some big competition, Ninja. Just stop. This entire tweet reads like he's whining because his mum's just come upstairs and told him to turn the Xbox off. You couldn't make this up if you tried. In summary, I do not like Fortnite Ninja, and I think that he should flick off. What do you think upon these matters, Tyrone? Just shot Ninja with a golden scarf or toilet paper. Hashtag Victory Royale. Whatever you say. And the final thing I want to talk about today is this disgusting video that's been doing the rounds on Twitter recently. Whatever you say, boomer. Okay, okay, boomer, yeah, boomer. The OK Boomer Girl, one of the four horsemen of the apocalypse, here to reap our souls through simping. Now I hate using this word, but it's the only word that accurately describes my feelings towards this video. It makes me cringe. It really does really, really badly. There is nothing of interest or entertainment or value in this video. It's basically one step up from Nyan Cat. But of course, because it's a conventionally attractive female, hundreds on the internet have been diagnosed with simp. They are simping over this video like there is no tomorrow, and it drives me fucking insane. The thing that still confuses me is how can you simp over something that's so bad? Like, sure, if you take a really good picture and you photoshop it or whatever, yeah, people will simp over it. But over a really cringy video? Really? Are people that thirsty? Come on. Come on, there can't be that many nice guys. Please tell me I'm wrong. Now, about a week and a half ago, a response to the OK Boomer Girl appeared on my Twitter feed too, in the form of an OK Millennial video. Someone had recreated the OK Boomer song and the dance, except it was an OK Millennial version. Now, I searched deep into Twitter to try and find this heinous video to show it to you, to point and laugh at it. However, I couldn't find it anywhere, no matter all the scrolling I did. My guess is whoever made it got roasted into oblivion and just took the video down. To be fair, it was really, really bad. I fucking hate the OK Boomer Girl video, but at least it's competently made. Like, the music is good, the lip syncing is on point, the dancing is reasonably good too. The OK Millennial Girl, it was not adequately made. It was just as bad as the original, and really badly made. Look, in summary, stop simping over the OK Boomer Girl. The only reason she is encouraging people to simp is because she wants more likes and more attention. Don't do it, go outside instead. Actually, wait, don't go outside because coronavirus is on. Um, well, uh, I don't know. Watch porn then, I suppose. Anyway, boys and girls, that's gonna do it for this video. I'm all out of things to say. Thanks very much for watching. I do promise I'm gonna be uploading more frequently from now on. I'm in isolation. I'm gonna be really bored. If you enjoyed today's video, please sneeze all over that like button and comment your social security number in the description below. Don't actually do that. I know there are some people stupid enough to actually do that. Don't, don't fucking do that.